channel and in this today's Sunday special I'm going to share with you a beautiful mentalism effect with some blank cards where I have written names of different drinks actually this was a spelling trick and since I love mentalism effect I changed it to a mentalism effect where you can perfectly tell what a spectator is thinking of which drink she is thinking of from her voice I hope you are going to like it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I request you to please subscribe to my channel and support me so that I can bring more such videos for you and if you like my videos please strike the like button share it with your friends and write in your comments how you're enjoying my shows also share your own views and ideas without much ado let us get into the performance as there is nobody in the studio today I'll assume that there is a spectator sitting beside you and you show her some black cards I mean black on this side and names of some drinks written on the other side so here is lemonade apple juice coca-cola gin rum orange juice whiskey sherry so these are the names you just give this a complete cut as many times as you want so that you have no idea as to which drink is where now you tell the spectator that you will turn away and she has to select any one of these uh, drinks and put it down facing down on the table so you turn away and later say she chooses this one so this is the one she has chosen so she puts it up here and you mix up the rest of the cards like this and then you also ask her to look at the card and remember the trick so she looks at the card and remembers it so this is the one please don't forget now you ask her to put it anywhere in the spread so she puts it back here only then you face the spectators now since the cards are mixed just think of it you really have no idea as to what a drink she is thinking of what is in her mind but you tell her that she has to name the cards in any order she likes you spread them facing up so that she can uh, read them out in any order and from her voice you are going to detect what the what the name of the drink she is thinking of so she should not give you any clues so you just place them in this order and you turn away and she tells the names in on in any order so let's say she has read out all the names in different order in a random order and you can tell her that she is thinking of sherry i think i'm right i hope you enjoyed the performance as well as the effect for this you need eight blank cards on which you have to write down the names of different drinks a secret word is very important that is lack grows l-a-c-g-r-o-w-s i have written it on the screen l-a-c-g-r-o-w-s lack grows now that means l stands for lemonade so you have to stack your pile the first card should be lemonade the face card l-a-c a apple apple juice c c stands for coca-cola here is coca-cola l-a-c g gin r r stands for rum o o stands for orange juice w stands for whiskey and s stands for sherry so this is a stack you can give this pile some complete cuts this will uh, change the position of the cards but the cyclic order will still remain so it really doesn't matter how many times you give it a complete cut 
Then you fan these cards in front of the spectator to, for a selection. Whichever card is selected, so let's say this is the card they selected, it is placed on the table, you are turned away. What you have to do is, uh, you have to put the top cards, these top cards go at the bottom. As a result, the bottom card will give you all the necessary informations you need to know about the name of the drink he is thinking of or she is thinking of. In this case, the bottom card is orange juice, L-A-C-G-R-R, -R, then comes O. So orange juice, the, just uh, the alphabet uh, before that is R, that means rum. So this card must be rum. It is rum. So what happens as you cut the cards from the place from where he has uh, or she has selected, his uh, card, you have to put those cards at the bottom and the bottom card will give you all the information. You, you are turning away, what you can do after the selection is made, she has to note down the card and you shuffle only the top cards of the pile, retaining the bottom card at the bottom. So the bottom card rem remains at the bottom because here is the bottom card so I'll just put it back at the bottom. So the bottom card remains orange juice. Now she notes down the card, she can put it anywhere she wants to. It really doesn't matter. So let's say he, she puts it here, you mix up the cards once again and you still don't know what is the bottom card. So you mix up the top cards and retain the bottom cards at the bottom, then you face the spectator and say that it is practically impossible for anybody to know what is the name of the uh, drink she is thinking of and that is true so there is no way unless you see the bottom card now you said that I'm going to spread these cards on the table as you spread the card you note down the bottom card here in this case it is orange juice that means the letter the alphabet that comes before orange juice lack grows is R and you know that the card is rum. So you spread these cards on the table and you ask the spectator to name the cards, I mean to name all the drinks in any order she likes and you are going to recognize from her voice the card or the drink she is thinking of. Not the card she has selected. Say what is in her mind. Actually you are reading her mind. You are not uh, doing a card trick that you will find out the card she has selected. So you say read them out loud. Don't give me any clue. Read them uh, in the same voice without uh, giving me any clue but still I'll be able to tell what is in your mind. So she reads out and you know already that she has selected rum. R U M. This is an amazing effect. I hope you have liked it. See you next time in the next video. Bye bye.